Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5070773. Because of this, this error code that is 0x800F0922 or 0x8024069. Now the first step is to run these scans. Now for this, type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you can run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and it will run a scan. In my case, I already ran it. Now, once the first scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, not, uh, try to install the update. Still not working. The next step is to retry. So if the updates are failing, uh, like you might see retry option. So hit retry and then check. If that does not work, you can pause the update. So hit pause over here. And once paused, hit resume updates. And then you can check. Still not working. Start these services. Type in services in Windows search box. And then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on restart. Find Windows update, scroll down, here you can see Windows update. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update, then click on restart. Now find background. Intelligent Transfer Service, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now make a right click and then click on restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working, the next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this you can open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, uh, write down the name of the update, that is KB5070773. Uh, and then click on search. Let me change the language. Now type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command. And over here you will see version, in my case it's version 25H2. And then check what kind of system you have. You can go to system in Windows settings, scroll down, click on about. And then here you can see system type. For me it's 64-bit operating system. So for me it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So click on download as per your system and your version. Now over here, you will see KB5070773, click on it. And then once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. Just follow the on-screen instruction and then install it. And then restart your computer and then you can check. Still, still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update option. So open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, and then go to our advanced option over here. Scroll down, click on Recovery. And over here you can see the option which says fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once the reinstall is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, uh, you will have a re repair version of version 25H2 or repair version of version 24H2. Now you can try to update and then check. Still not working. The last step is you use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Run this exe file and this one. Now, once you run the exe file, uh, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here. 
by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish option over here and then let it close automatically uh, it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files in app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully and you should not receive these errors anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel